Hey there folks and welcome back to Star Citizen Weapons Review. At the end of the episode we're going to be announcing who has won the Plentiful Salvage Snow Globe that's up there. And now for the actual weapon itself that we're going to be reviewing, we are going to be reviewing the GT Series Ballistic Gun GT870, which is this gun right here, better known as the Tarantula. We're going to be testing it on the Hornet Ghost. The reason we're going to be testing it on the Hornet Ghost is because Ballistic cannons synergize quite well with this ship because the ship does not have a very high power output because it's trying to remain concealed. So if you want to increase its damage output or make it competitive in the fighting scene, you have to equip it with something that does not draw a lot of power. And ballistic cannons don't draw a lot of power. So speaking of the ballistic cannons, it is a slow firing, relatively heavy hitting 40 millimeter cannon shell that fires out of this thing and we're going to be testing it out in the Vandal Swarm. The weapon that we're going to be also testing it with is the Mass Driver Cannon. Right now these are not Mass Driver Cannons, these are the Longsword Series 9 I believe, 25mm cannon. But uh, the Mass Driver Cannons are not rendered on any mount other than the 300 series uh, class 2 mount so we just have those on there for looks right now but when we're in the arena commander we are going to be using the mass driver cannons alright I think that's enough talk about the weapons and I'm going to show you the weapons in use in arena, in arena commander so see you guys there in a little bit alright folks and we are in the vandal swarm Right now we have our ballistic cannons on our class 2 mounts on the wings and hostiles are inbound. And we have the mass driver cannons in the nose canard. We're going to be using the ones on the wings because obviously that's the point of this review. And it, we can uh, compare their rate of fire with these mass driver cannons. As you see they're very, very similar. Let's uh, get in here and see if we can do some damage to this guy. The shields will absorb the first three or four rounds that you put into them, but after that you can actually do quite a lot of damage to them. I'm not sure if the gun converges isn't quite on or I'm just a terrible shot, which is entirely plausible but they do do quite a bit of damage and when you actually do hit them it can seriously cause them some trouble as you see I am hitting them it looks like their shields recharged a bit and he lost a part of his ship so he's not going to be around that much longer. However, the Hornet isn't as removable as I would like it to be, or at least this particular variant isn't. Well, we took out that guy. As you see, this is actually a little bit harder to take out the enemies than it was when we had the other Sawbuck cannons on. Granted, we weren't in a different ship entirely. The 350 is, or the 325A is a very, very good dogfighting ship. Alright, let's see if we can put the herd on this guy, demonstrate its power a little bit more. There we go, killed him in two shots. And if you actually do manage to hit them, it does do a lot of damage, especially if their shields are down. And I think his shields were down that particular time because he was in a dogfight with the other guys. But we did do... What was that, 700 or 900 damage in two shots? So if you land both of your hits, you can take out enemies very, very quickly. But the low rate of fire is a detriment to it. And as you can see, we're thrusting as hard as we can, and you really don't hear any noise, but that's because it's the stealth version of this ship that is very, very, very stealthy. Nikki. Yep, 
We're taking a lot of hits, but this shit can take it. On this, uh, we're gonna keep the trigger down and see if we overheat. I really don't think that we're going to because these are ballistic cannons that have a very low rate of fire. Yeah, we're just burning through our ammunition, and yeah, there's no overheating indicator, so that means that it is very good when it comes to not overheating because you essentially can't in this ship. We've taken a lot of damage to that flown poorly, but that's just my poor piloting skills. But yeah, so that is the GT870 Ballistic Cannon, better known as the Tarantula. So it's got a slow rate of fire, decent damage output, and when coupled with these big mass driver cannons, they can take out enemies really quickly. That is if you're able to hit them. Come on, one more shot. Oh. There we go. He's dead. Alright, thank you folks for watching. Oh, actually, before I leave, we were going to say that uh, we were going to announce who won the Plentiful Salvage Snow Globe, and that particular person that won it was Zane Neal. I will be sending you a PM on YouTube, and then you're going to have to send me your RSI account name so I can gift you the little snow globe so thank you for participating and i will see you all next time